there, my name is Polish Links, welcome to You Say! And as we are in the hallway, let's talk with Li Mei. Hey Li Mei, you okay? Okay. Right, see with question. A story. Sorry. Li Mei smiles and shakes her head. Not stupid. There are not many here, so it is quiet. Is that why you're here? There are fewer people? Li Mei shakes her head. Aki instructed me to protect Aaron. Why? He may come to harm. Now that I think of it, Aaron and Naoki were the first to find the body and but Aaron knows everyone here pretty well. He's probably the most likely to remember something to tie the killer to the scene. Aki was right to worry for his safety. But why Li Mei? I will not allow him to be hurt. Li Mei seems to have picked up on my concern. I trust you will keep him safe, but I'm more worried about whether or not you will be hurt. Why? Because I don't want you to get hurt, obviously. Li Mei's eyes grow distant. I am a rabbit in a cage. We live only for the sake of others. What? Please do not worry for me. Don't be ridiculous. Of course I'm going to worry about you. You are my friend and my teammate. We are supposed to take care of each other. Are we friends? You really have to ask? <laughs> of course we are! Then you are my first friend. What about Aki and Naoki? Aki says we are family. You can be both, you know. Then I think we are both. And Detective Garski? He is not <laughs> <laughs> I seriously love that face. When she does it. <laughs> That's Aki's influence for sure. Maybe I should leave the topic alone for now. Uh, uh, and uh, what do I do now? Have you ever met Schultz? What do you sleep in closet in the way? Do you have an idea who the killer is? So what do you think of Naft and David? That's all I want to talk about. <sighs> have you ever met Schultz? She's the one in charge of this um, work program. Akin and Detective Garski were talking about her earlier, and I was wondering if you had ever met her. The maid's eyes light up with recognition. Yes, I have seen her. Oh, does she ever come over to the apartment or anything? Please say no. Visits are rare. She's often busy. Yeah, I gather as much based on her presence, apparently everywhere. Then when did you meet? Dimei holds up her hands and begins counting on her fingers. We first met for my demonstration. I did not hear what she said, but I knew she was very impressed. Demonstration? Then again at my hearing. I did not understand her words at the time, but she was very... Dimei frowns as if she can't quite find the words she is looking for. On fire? That sounds about right. Then after Aki and Oki took me in, we met again. She seemed happy to see me. Whoa, Shoots happy? That's a new one. Maybe it was relieved, as if she no longer had worry. Wait, you knew her before Aki and Naoki? Li Mei nods plainly as if I just asked the most obvious question in the world. What exactly do you mean by demonstration, and what was your hearing? That I may not speak of. But you just did. I am instructed not to share my former work. And I have given you no such knowledge. Yeah, I guess you didn't. You take things pretty literally, don't you? Do I? Ah. So what do you think of Nathan and David? <laughs> they are... She tilts her head to the side. Humorous? You think they are funny? They speak in jokes. <laughs> What about the resentment you are talking about? Are they angry too? Disappointed. About what? They look like they are having fun. They cling to discontent, even in happiness. Great, so everyone's in a bad mood. That's reassuring. Do you have an idea of who the killer is? Limei shakes her head. She looks disappointed. I guess killing intent isn't really an emotion, huh? Often there is anger or bitterness. 
Hmm, that's true. Only my eyes are downcast. What? All who are here harbor an anger in their hearts. Aaron is truly distressed, but she also holds anger. Jupiter is frustrated and tired. She feels as if she is alone. We may hesitate. It's obvious she's not sure if she would should tell me what's on her mind. What are you thinking? Aki and Naoki are angry too. Aki is angry because she feels as if she has failed. Naoki is angry because he feels he is not strong. And what about you? Are you angry too? I do not wish to be, but I am not sure. <sighs> Why do you sleep in the closet anyway? Why need to ask this? It is more safe. More safe than what? Sleep is vulnerability. It is foolish to be exposed. Um, I'm not sure I understand. Do you think you're going to be attacked while you sleep? Do you not? Um, I guess I never thought about it. Great, I'm never going to sleep easy again. <laughs> I don't suppose you've got room for two in that closet. <gasps> she blushed! Cut it! Okay, that didn't go out right at all. Let's just pretend I didn't say that. That's all I want to talk about. Okay. But I will come back. Uh, nothing new here. Ah, uh, no! I think it will rain tomorrow. I, okay. N let's check if... Sleeping. Okay. Do -do. Do -do 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 -do. Do -do -do -do. Move. Uh, main campus. Uh, examine. There is a squirrel in this tree. It doesn't seem scared of me at all. It's also kind of fat. Delbrar, uh, delivery. Uh, sign on door says open 24 hours day. Awesome. Faculty parking only. From the look of the cars, the paychecks here aren't that great. Doctor has and I here. It's off limits to the public now. According to the plaque on the side, this bench is made out of recycled recycle plastic donated by the Tesse. A rather large fountain. Hmm, if there's no obvious source of water, can you call it a fountain? This map of the campus should help me find my way around. Uh. I can check this. Done. If I go with... Oh, that's how you can move now. But I'm st I want to stay here. Come on. Move. Main campus. Talk. Morning, Khan. How are you? Feeling a little better after last time. Thanks. Glad to hear it. We're going to have to tread carefully today. Now that everyone knows Johansson's dead, the killer is probably going to be on edge. Be careful, okay? Do you really think Aaron's in danger? You mean, why did I leave Lee May to watch over him? Well, yeah, I mean, I guess Aaron's the most likely to remember something incriminating, but... But you don't think it warrants a 24-hour bodyguard? It's just weird. It's better than leaving him alone now and regretting it later. Besides, there's also the other option. Other option? He could be the killer. If that's the case, I don't want him running away. Can Lima really stop him from running away? She's kind of small. If it came down to a fight, I'd be more worried about Aaron. But I told her to use non-lethal force, so everything should be fine. That is the least comforting thing I've heard all day. It's still early. Any ideas who the killer is? It's a little early to be asking that, don't you think? No! But if you want my initial impression, there's something about this whole setup that makes me feel really uncomfortable. Besides the body smashed up in the bell tower? No, that's basically it. She paces back and forth. Even if Naoki hadn't heard something wrong, the body would have been discovered fairly quickly. The bell tower is maintained pretty regularly, so whoever did this wasn't concerned about hiding the body. Maybe they didn't plan to kill Dr. Johansson. You think it was an accident? Well, not exactly. Of all the plant murders I've seen, they usually fall into one of two categories. There are clean murders like poison, and there are messy murders like strangling and stabbing. The messy murders are ones that are very personal. Whoever is doing it wants to feel directly responsible for the death. 
The scene itself is very messy, but the weapon is very impersonal. You can't feel your victim die if you're watching them getting smashed by a bell. So why do it? Why would anyone choose the bell as the weapon? Maybe it was available. The murderer didn't plan it out, but he or she jumped on the opportunity when it presented itself. So it may have been an accident, but more likely it was a crime of opportunity. Sort of like how a normal person don't think about stealing cars, but if you pass one with the keys in the engine, it's tempting. Normal people don't think about stealing cars? Please tell me you're joking. Sure, why not? <laughs> That's all. Thanks. God damn it. Uh, try not to give away too much information. We don't know who we can trust. Uh, nothing from... I think it will rain. Okay, grumpy pants. Okay, biology student bell tower. Student housing is here. Okay. Uh, move. Student house is the most important. Bell tower, not yet. Library, biology, student. <laughs> the, the library seems tempting here, actually. Con guy. Perfect timing. No. We need a tiebreaker. Four. Zombies. I'm afraid reanimated corpses aren't my area of expertise. That's okay. We're talking weaponry anyway. In the case of a zombie apocalypse. We were debating whether it's better to carry a gun or a sword. Assuming you're only allowed one weapon. Guns have a longer range, and they're deadlier. But swords don't run out of ammo, and they're quieter. Except you have to get within biting distance to even use a sword. Hello, infection! Well... It depends what... Uh, gun you actually so have armor and what are the odds you're gonna hit the head of a moving target with a gun anyway pretty high if you actually practice it's sure easier than trying to cut a zombie in half hey I know how to handle the sword I've been training for years okay now my fault uh, about the gun actually you can always uh, you can always uh, put on a silencer so it's kind of better, I think. However, the best idea is to have both. Not to rain on your parade, but if there were a zombie ghost, you'd probably be killed by other humans long before the zombies arrive. What? Zombies are hardly different from pack animals, they just multiply faster. In a situation with limited resources and the threat of multiplying predators, the first thing you'd do is stock up on resources, right? Well, yeah. As will every other person on Earth, someone will probably kill you for your food and weapons before you even see a zombie. Has anyone ever told you you're a really gloomy person? It may have been mentioned once or twice. <laughs> no. I want to stay here. Ah. Examine. Some sort of plastic ground is kind of dusty. One of the mountains from nearby. Some local scenery from outside the of edge water. A photo from a nearby forest. There's a Japanese resort near the base of this mountain. My family vacationed there a long time ago. Two, two, two. Bunch of intro to biology books. I think they are David's. Shelf full of books on social scenes. No doubt shoots ignores half of the content in the low books here. Maths and science. Moth with inspired colors. Computer science books. Philosophy and Psychology. Criminal Psychology. Wish I had that one back in the day. Uh, social Sciences. Language Books. Math and Science. Technology and Applied Science. Series of books about arts and recreation fun. Okay. A bunch of war notebooks. Looks like Nathan's. Well done. Uh, talk. Con guy. Good to see we haven't scared you away yet. Yeah. I've got office hours soon. Was there something you wanted to know? And as much as feeling kind of weird, I guess, especially with what happened yesterday. Oh, you heard about Dr. Johansson? Yeah. That's a terrible way to go, accidentally falling off the tower like that. That's what happened? That's what everyone's been saying. Not like it makes any sense for him to be up there in the first place, but whatever. You don't seem that caught up about it. 
Everyone dies eventually. Feeling bad won't bring him back. So, how long have you been a student here? Maybe... three years? I only came here for grad school. Got my BS in Steel City. Nathan's been here the longest. Technically, he's got seniority on his team, but Jupiter was a lot better with the undergrads. David snorts and glances in Nathan's direction. Nathan feeds among the students at his table, pausing once in a while to open an exasperated sigh. He's terrible at teaching. No patience for it. I think he expects everyone else to be like him. How so? He learns everything the first time around. I guess you could call him a natural. Unlike the rest of us who actually have to study. I'm jealous already. Okay, that's all for now. Later. Later! Late, let's hey, talk. Just wanted to say sorry about yesterday. Oh? You know, the locking you up and stuff. Ah, uh, don't sweat it. It's not the first time. Nothing coughs. Oh, okay. Right, probably shouldn't have shared that little tidbit. Did Dr. Johnson have any quarrels with anyone recently? Not that I can think of. Why? Just curious. I was researching him before I came, and I saw that some people disagree with his research. There will always be dissidents, especially when you're a trailblazer. But personally, I think he was a great man with great ideas. We all believed in his work. That's why we're here. Although... Although? He and Jupiter were definitely arguing about something last week. Oh? Do you know what? Sorry, I didn't listen in too closely. She doesn't get angry too often, but when she does, it's best to just hide. So, how long have you been a student here? Um, this is year seven, I think. Seven? Did the whole undergrad thing, then stuck around for the grad program as well. Whoa, that's a long time to stay at the same school. Not if you enjoy it. I don't understand why some people think they have to keep moving around or do new things. Maybe it's for the experience. But to what end? We can say experience, experience all we want, but isn't it just a way to cover up how unhappy we are with our own situation? It's not always like that. What if people just truly really enjoy it? So you're a wandering sort of guy. No place to call home and all that. Uh, you could say that. Is it because you enjoy it? Or because you're not happy with anywhere you've been? I don't know, both? Why does it matter? Even a ship needs a harbor to come home to when the ocean is rough. I'm not saying you have to settle down and start a family or anything, but I hope you'll be able to find a place to anchor yourself. Well, thanks. I will let you get back to your students. See you. And, well, actually, end the episode here. We have... One, two, three more places to go to, if I remember correctly, so... Maybe we can get with those in the next episode. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. See you then. Bye.